If you ask anybody, they'll tell you I have too many superstitions to talk about. I'm a big, uh, a big like routine guy. So, uh, yeah, I like to take like a 20 minute nap before I get my arm stretched. Growing up, I really liked Alan Trammell because I'm from the Detroit area. And he was a shortstop and I played shortstop. So I would, I would still have to go with Trammell. It's a good question. I used to love watching Will Clark, Will Clark play back in the day. I'm going to, you know what? A lot of things have happened in the game of baseball that have changed my opinions about a lot of my favorite players. But, um, you know, I, I always like watching like Willie Mays play, Roberto Clemente. Um, you know, some of those old guys, and then, you know, Ken Griffey Jr., to be honest with you, um, growing up was a guy that, you know, just looked like he was having so much fun and played the game with sort of a reckless abandon and also just at a very high level for a very long time, so um, it was a lot of fun watching him play. Uh, growing up, probably Barry Bonds, or, uh, you know, I did reports on Roberto Clemente. I was kind of a Pirates fan, a Phillies fan also growing up. Nolan Ryan. I can't say it was anybody in particular. I just uh, played t-ball like most other kids do, and just loved it from the start, and I've been playing ever since. I just my, my family, my older brother. I was all around, always around baseball, and uh, being his bat boy or ball boy, following around and watching him play. So that's where it started. The father, definitely. Really the father. Background. My father. It was something that we always, growing up, we always played catch and hit batting practice together. So I'd have to see my dad. Um, you don't know if I was so much inspired to play. I know I, I know I originally went to play baseball just because you know my friends literally went to go play. You know, I, um, my father never played baseball. No one in my family really played baseball. Um, you know, I played basketball and played soccer and all the kind of sports growing up. Being a Florida kid, so um, you know when it was baseball season and all my friends went to go play little league, I just joined and uh, kept playing, enjoyed it, and. Uh, you know, eventually got to a point where you know I had an opportunity to go to college and um, maybe play professionally. So that's sort of what I did. Um, you know, I think I have some people that I admire along the way, but um, you know, as far as like starting out, it's just, just trying to have fun. For love of the game, major league, no question. I enjoy slap shot. If I were to watch a sports movie, it'd have to be the hockey movie the slap shot. Uh, maybe Bull Durham, or For Love of the Game was pretty good too. Probably the original Brian Piccolo story. I have my kids on the field. Uh, just playing every night in front of a full, full house is always good in Triple A. I don't know. That's a tough one. I'd have to say opening night the first time that we were here. It was exciting to open a new ball. My complete game probably, I enjoyed. The first cycle in history, you know, to, to, get, to get the homer in the ninth to tie the game and eventually us win. Um, you know, it's obviously fresh in my mind, but um, you know, in the short 20 games or so I've been here, uh, that definitely takes the cake. I'm going to go with electric. Electric? Fun. Intense, I would say. Energetic. Just uh, play hard, no matter what happens, and uh, listen to everything you can, and try to take something from everybody that uh, you come across, and pick and choose what you can do. You have to work hard at it. It's the best thing, and play as much as possible. Just keep practicing, enjoy the game, love it, make sure you love it, and you have fun. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the old cliches kind of always, you know, hold true. I mean, continue to work hard um, in anything that you choose to endeavor in, um, and have as much fun as you possibly can. Um, you know, work hard, pregame, you know, off the field, practice hard, um, you know, be open to, open to advice and suggestions, but, you know, be the master of your own career. Um, you know, learn what works. There's no one way to play this game. Um, and then when you get into the game, just enjoy it, you know, because you only get four or five, you know, opportunities as an offensive player to, you know, let it all be yours. And uh, when those happen, enjoy it. When or, you know, when or lose, you're either going to get hit or you're going to get out. So let things go and enjoy it as much as possible.